Even William Jack Douglas wants to know, Stark, would you rather have APL attached by his penis to your nostrils and ejaculate into your nose every hour on the hour, or would you rather use Internet Explorer for the rest of your life as your browser? Fuck Internet Explorer. I'd rather have APL attached by his dick to my nose and oh, jerk it no. into my nasal cavity no. every hour on the hour. Are you I kidding me? I'd rather for my nose to develop a womb and sometime have a birth canal and that jizz to impregnate my face and then nine <laughs> months later, a baby hatches itself no. out of my giant ass no. forehead and then I raise that freaky little nose dick baby for the rest of my life. That's what I'd rather do than use Internet Explorer, Benjamin. Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome to Respawn Inbox. I'm APL. And I'm Mr. Sark. And we just got back from EDC. My yeah, God. So fun. What a party. I still feel the lightning Woo. coursing through my veins. I'm a little tired, but God, I think we're both just fueled on electronic music for today's Inbox. And yes. I think we should just fucking get into it. Let's go. Go, go, go. 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 Fucking damn it. Thank Woo. you. Respawn Inbox, boom. Question one, Gilbert. God Godfrey, are you all right? <laughs> Gilbert Gloss, APL, why are you always smacking your hands on the desk? Good question, Gilbert. I challenge you to go a whole episode of Inbox without touching the desk at all. Does that mean like this is illegal? That, that can't count. I'm not going to sit like So this. he just wants you to Okay, but I can't smack the desk. If you win, you, a hundred internets if you win. Uh, if you lose, you get slapped by Sark. How is so, that even, that's not even real currency. So first off, internets? answer the question, why are you always smacking your hands on the desk? Uh, answer I get excited about stuff, man. I can't, I can't control myself. Sweet, all right. And uh, do you accept the challenge? No, absolutely no? not. All right, no, there you sorry. go. A hundred internets is not real currency. We live in the United States. Yeah. He has the freedom to do that, unfortunately. Right. Yeah. I wish we could. Joshua Wilson, APL, what's it like going from living on the East Coast to the West? I'm an East Coast, South Jersey guy myself and might migrate one day. Side note, Sark, try rubbing Rogaine on your face so you can grow some damn facial hair. Oh, wow. Well. Uh, what's it like, what's it like moving from the East Coast to the West Coast? Uh, it's, it was an adjustment, it took me about a year to get used to it, but now that I'm on the West Coast, I have to say West Coast, Best Coast. I don't think I'm gonna be moving back for, uh, I don't miss the snow, I don't miss the changing of seasons, I love the weather. Uh, people here are way more nicer, nicer. People are way more nice and they start conversations, so that's a little different. Uh, East Coast, it's like if you tried to talk to someone in a diner, you'd get shot. You know, and you're sitting next to someone. What? It's pretty, it's at least from the area what? of Philly, yeah. Yeah, you'd be like, hey, what's uh, just having a conversation? This is LA. This is LA, man. Have I you know. ever seen Training Day? Come on. Oh, yeah, but that's not the areas of LA. APL that I hang sitting out. up in his little, little, like an 818 apartment. Yeah. Basking in a little, like a hammock with a lemonade and a little umbrella that's, in it. Yeah, like, that's yeah, what fucking I Fucking LA is awesome. I yeah. love it. Fucking LA. East Coast so hard. Whatever. Drive 10 minutes south and you'll get fucked to death with bullets by fired by black people. Don't ruin, and then Hispanic people will come and... Don't ruin LA for me. I like it. Pale ass corpse. What was the next part of that? Uh, it was for me, I think. Uh, oh, oh yeah. I'm just rubbing Rogaine on my face. <laughs> he said, Chuck, can you rub Rogaine on your face and grab some nice facial hair? <laughs> Joshua, obviously not a huge fan of Native Americans. I'm sorry. What? Yeah. What? Why? That's why I can't grow facial hair. Native American. Because I have Native American ancestry. They Admittedly, it's probably hair? because some white explorer probably stormed into a village and then raped a Native American woman. Again, though, not my fault. I've been wrestling with this my entire life. It sucks. Next question, Stephen Malman asks, APL, what's the best part of working at Machinima? Wow, really put me on the spot. Best part, uh, I, the group of people that I work with. I love working with the Respawn team. I have the best group of guys. Steven goes on to say, Sark, what was the worst part of working for Machinima? The people I work with. I hate working with all these guys. Literally all these guys. There's no, no vagina to be seen. Oh. A couple. Oh, yeah. A couple, but you don't need to be doing it or chasing it. It just needs to be around you. It smells nice. They smell. <laughs> What? Not the you're yeah. smelling. What? No, the Where like are you hanging out. Ladies smell nice. Oh, oh, you're not, not the vagina. You're not sniffing. Whatever. Next question. Is this starting now? Your stance on like just having ladies. Yep. Around? Okay. Uh, Ronnie <laughs> Eiler, what is the number one item on your bucket list? Uh, I want to go to Japan. That's the number one. Oh. Followed closely by I gotta hit Burning Man at least once. <clears throat> yeah. Nice. Uh, I would I would say. Um, I want to go to, I think this will happen at some point, but I want to go to Europe. I've never visited oh, yeah? at all. Yeah, Maybe so that's Gamescom. Yeah, I'm you hoping. Do you think we should send, uh, we should send uh, Respawn to Gamescom? Please, please. Do you think maybe they should hire like a freelance host to go with them? Show them the, show maybe, them the ropes? Maybe, maybe, yeah. We just film our, we bring our camera equipment and we just shoot our own pieces. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You yeah, know, yeah, small yeah. two-man trip. 
Yep, with a freelance host. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, That'd be awesome. Yeah. That would be me, yeah. I thought you were pointing at me. No, Did you'd be, you're the, you're a host now, man. Oh, okay. Right. I'm the fucking, I'm the Ronin Samurai. All right, ready? Next, Luke Jackson asks, what composer would you like to compose your theme music? Shit. Parentheses, this music constantly plays throughout your life. You can still sleep and stuff. That's nice. I like it. Um, I like that qualification. Yeah. You can still sleep. No, Luke's obviously uh, watched a few inboxes. He knows if there's any weakness in the question, we will go after it. It's like blood in the water. That's true. People, like male answering sharks. So, uh, composer to compose my theme music. That's a good question. Huh. I, I mean, guess a composer though, is that limited? Are we talking like classical doesn't composers? Doesn't matter, yeah, anything do else. Yeah. Anyone that produces. I feel uh, like Hans Zimmer would be really mm. uh, exciting. Yes, um, but too much maybe at times, yeah. right? James Horner. Mm. James Horner is a self-plagiarist, so it might get a little repetitive. John Williams. John Williams is versatile. Uh, John Williams is such an easy answer. Yeah, though, I know. I think I might just flip it and go Beethoven. Can't yeah? go wrong with Beethoven. Yeah. I'd like Beethoven, uh, the, you remember the series of movies about the dog? Yeah. The big St. Bernard? Yeah. I'd like that Beethoven to compose my theme music. Yeah? yeah. Can you give us a sample of how that would sound? <laughs> How's it? <laughs> huh. The next one of the show is the part we call rapid fire. It's where we forget all this stupid shit and we step on the gas yeah. and we go as fast as we can. We answer this shit quickly. Let's do this. You ready, oh, APL? Yeah, good thing I didn't take that bet because I hit the desk. Oh, you did, huh? I didn't take the bet. Rapid fire. Tyler Oprah Hey, Stark, would you rather give up your cat, Miles Davis, or Predator? Good question, Tyler. I can answer that in a heartbeat. I'd rather get up Miles Davis because I can get another cat anytime and they're all goddamn cute. Give up Predator, though. There's only one Predator. I can't give up Predator. I can never get off camera. Next up, Count Pound wants to know whether or not we'd rather be Indian or Chinese. I'm assuming it means not, not feather, but we'll see. Caucasian. Uh, oh. What I am oh, now. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm lucky and blessed to be white, and I'm gonna stick, stay white. I think I'm gonna, I'll actually field the question and just risk the racism. I think I'd rather be Chinese. Why is that? Because they're, they're taking over the world, APL, uh, okay. and Indians are still shitting in holes in the ground. <laughs> Alan Barrison wants to know, would you rather like $5 million or get a change to be a character in a Viva Pinata game or have unlimited toilet paper? Choose wisely, the choice is yours. I don't know what like $5 million means. I don't know what it means to get a change to be a character and who gives a shit about a lifetime supply of toilet paper. No Alan, I don't understand oh, your question, God. all right? I now, maybe English is not his first language, could, I, all right? I so maybe he is speaking two languages, which makes him automatically better being... than us. Or he's a child. No. Or he's a fucking idiot. I'm gonna go with the third one. Yeah? He's a fucking idiot. I'm gonna just stay neutral. I'm okay. gonna play it safe and I'm gonna say, uh, write us back when you can speak fucking English. Finally, Charlie Winter asked, would you rather have sex with Kane Upton 10 times or sex with the Queen 100 times? That question is so dumb. I uh, honestly, I, I wanna stop doing this show because if this is the kind of question that we have fostered who out asked, of the people. Who asked this? Yeah, what's his name? Mondo. Are you Charlie? Charlie. I, I'm at a loss. I don't even know how to respond. Because if, if, if you have to ask this question, you shouldn't be alive. Yeah. Really? You know? was, yeah, the, the yeah. fucking the queen would be like fucking a deflated balloon. Oh, yeah. There's oh. literally, um, Charlie, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say you've never had sex before mm -hmm. in your life. Yeah, I think you're right. Possibly maybe even never jerked off. Or touched your dick. Touched his dick. Or even looked at it. <laughs> You're probably super fat, and you couldn't look at it without a series of mirrors anyway. <laughs> like some of those security, like checking the bombs, see if there's bombs under your car, those Seriously. devices. Literally yeah. no, absolutely in no universe ever. No. Would you fuck the queen a hundred times? Would you fuck the queen once? No, what? Yeah, why? If you f <laughs> Fuck Kate Upton 10 times, or anything, Charlie, <laughs> anything you finish that or sentence with, the answer's gonna be fuck Kate Upton 10 times. Yes, yep. Anything. Unless it's followed by fuck Kate Upton 11 times. <laughs> then you're gonna choose option B. True. I don't wow. even know where to begin. This yeah, is, this is clearly unless the, that's why that's what I was saying though. I think he may be so sex starved and hungry, mm. so so good. thirsty to get the to 
empty as empty as balls. That fucking the queen a hundred times is a valid right like, choice. Look, I mean that's a hundred. That's a hundred fucky fucky. <laughs> mm, that's something. Do you hear that? Yeah, what is that? I think that's Kate Upton calling me. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God, it is. Oh yeah. What? It? Hold on. Hello. Yeah. No, sorry. Yeah, I'm shooting inbox. I know. I know. He's he's cute. He's adorable. What are you uh, What are you up to later? Yeah, we just got the question about you or the queen. I know. I know. No, I said you. Of course, I said you. Yeah. I know. Oh, my little honeydew. I know. I know. I want to be inside you. I want to be inside you so bad. I'm uncomfortable being here for this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're my queen. I'm gonna fuck you 110 times. Sorry. Should I? I yeah. Do you want privacy? It's Hollywood. I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm gonna, gonna do your thing. Oh god. I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm gonna split you in half. <laughs> I know. I know. I can't wait too. Did you see Superman yet? Yeah. We can go see Superman and then we'll fuck a hundred times. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Can't wait to taste you too. All right. Bye. It was Hollywood. He wants. He has a question about uh, the fucking stuff that we're having him edit. Yeah. Close the show. Oh, was that it? Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching Inbox, you guys. Uh, we'll see you. Uh, we'll see you back here next week. Same bat time, same bat channel. Uh, that is, if I'm not uh, exhausted, if I haven't chafed my dick into a little piece of kindling inside of Kate Upton's uh, her nethers. Survival tip. When you're out there and you're cold, alone, you need fire, just bring a chick. Just fuck her till she explodes. I've never tried it, but I, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs>